Hi, my name is Kelly Henry. I'm a registered nurse and a certified diabetes educator, and I work for the Center for Excellence in Diabetes Education here in Northampton, Mass. Today we're going to be talking about how to tell if you have diabetes. Um, several ways to tell. The best way is through blood tests because we can pick it up really early. Um, and then the other way is through symptoms. But unfortunately, when you're feeling symptoms, the diabetes can, you may have had diabetes for a while. Um, so First of all, let me tell you the blood glucose that we look for um, when we do a test. Um, we would do fasting blood glucose, which means that you haven't had anything to eat or drink for the last eight hours at least, and they draw your blood. And if we have two fasting blood sugars on two different occasions, usually at least 24 hours apart, that are over 126, then we have a diagnosis of diabetes. And if we have two random blood sugars, meaning that we drew those blood sugars at any time during the day, whether you ate or not, and they were over 200, that's also a diagnosis of diabetes. Usually we only need to have one that's over 200 because typically at that point the patient's going to be having symptoms. The symptoms of a high blood sugar or diabetes are that typically people are very thirsty, um, they tend to urinate a lot because they're drinking a lot, um, and they tend to be very lethargic or tired because they're not getting the energy they need. The bottom line is the um, sugar is being excreted through the urine. Um, and you're thirsty a lot because you really need that urine, that sugar to be flushed out of the system. And so body calls on you to drink a lot, that increased thirst, um, pee a lot, and then the sugar's being flushed out and you're not, the cells aren't getting what they need so that you're not getting the energy that you need. Um, with type 1 diabetes, usually the symptoms come on very fast and these people are sick, very sick, in the first week that the symptoms present themselves. Um, with type 2 diabetes, they can take a long time to onset. And I always say to people, a lot of us carry water bottles around, so we don't know if we're thirsty or not because we're always drinking. And we pee a lot because we're drinking a lot of water. Um, and we're tired because maybe we work a lot. And as we get older, we tend to be more tired anyways. These symptoms can go on for a long time before they're really annoying enough or present enough in that patient for them to really acknowledge the fact that something's not right. Um, and they go to the doctors. Ideally, the way we want to pick it up, like I said, is that you go to your regular physical yearly, um, depending on the age you're at, and the doctor says, you're over 40, we're going to test you, or you have a family history of diabetes, we're going to test you. That's the best way to know. The other thing that we do is blood glucose meters. Um, if someone has prediabetes, they're in the early signs of diabetes, which means that the fasting blood sugars were less than 126, but they were greater than 100. Normal blood sugar is 70 to 100. If the blood sugars fasting are between 100 and 126, once or twice, that means it's pre-diabetes. We might actually have you start testing to make sure that the minute those blood sugars start to go out of range, that we'll actually know it. Um, and then if they're greater than 126 twice fasting, we're going to diagnose you with diabetes. So I, again, ideally I would say the best way to do this or figure out that you have diabetes is yearly you're going for a physical, the doctor put, decides if you have risk factors or not, and he tests you annually. It's good to know those risk factors because then you can say, should I be tested for diabetes in case he doesn't think about it with all the other things they have to do. The risk factors are that you're over the age of 40, Maybe you have high blood pressure, maybe you have high cholesterol, uh, you have a strong family history of it, mother, father, sibling that had diabetes, um, and or you are Native American Indian, Hispanic, Black, Asian American, or Pacific Islander. All of those races have much higher incidence of type 2. Um, so definitely have the regular screening exams, um, have a risk assessment, look at what the risks are, and then have the blood tests.